Hey guys, Prop for English here, and today I'm going to teach you about OR gates and NOR gates. These are two very useful gates, and I'm sure many of you already know what these are. I'm sure many others have played around with both of these gates without even knowing they were using any logic gates. Let's start off by taking a look at an OR gate. So in an OR gate, if A or B is on, the output's going to be on. So the only time the output's going to be off is when both A and B are off. If B is on, or A is on, or both A and B are on, if either one, if A or B is on, the output is going to be on. Let's take a look at how we do this in redstone circuitry. So it's really easy. You just hook two wires into each other and you've got an OR gate. Now uh, let's test it. If I flip that lever, the output's on. If I turn the B input on, the output's on. I can do both of them. The output's still on. Now, the one way that this can get a little more complex is if you don't want the, uh, the, out, the uh, signal from one input to bleed back into the, uh, the other input. And there are situations where you don't want the circuitry to, uh, to mix up like that. What we can do is use a diode. And let me just explain what a diode is because I'm sure many of you have been using this concept and you've probably never even heard the term diode. So a diode allows the signal to travel in only one direction. So a repeater is a diode. So if I turn uh, this lever on, you can see the output's on. But if I set a lever over here, it doesn't go back through the repeater. It only goes in one direction. We can do the same thing with glowstone. And glowstone is a better diode because it's faster. It's a, a zero tick diode. A repeater adds one tick, one redstone tick of delay. Whoop. And, uh, <laughs> and, a, uh, and glowstone adds zero tick. So let's, uh, let's test that out. So, um, so now if I flip this lever, we see it goes, it goes up the glowstone with no problem. But if I put another lever up here and turn the first one off, you can see that it doesn't float, the signal doesn't flow down the, uh, the glowstone and you know, it, won't, it won't bleed back into, uh, into places you don't want it to go. And we can do that with an OR gate. Okay, so right now, turn the A input on goes up the glowstone but not down into the B input and there was no extra delay. The output's still on. We can do the same thing with the B input and, uh, and there you go. There's an, there's an OR gate where you don't have any, uh, any signal going back into, uh, from one input into the other input. Pretty nice. Now let's take a look at NOR gates. Actually before we do that let's uh, review the, uh, the output of an OR gate because a NOR gate is the logical inverse of of an OR gate. So NOR is a, a negated OR gate. Okay, so the output for an OR gate is off, on, on, on. If we, uh, we take a look at the truth table, it's the opposite with a NOR gate. So if, uh, if both A and B are off, or if neither A nor B is on, the output's on. Okay, any other situation where B is on, or A is on, or both A and B are on, the output is off. So the only time the output is on with a NOR gate is when both inputs are off. And this is pretty useful because uh, we can use this in a similar way uh, that we would use an AND gate. So with an AND gate, the output is on when both of the inputs are on. It's the only time it's on. For a NOR gate, the output is only going to be on when both of the inputs are off. So it's kind of similar um, and, uh, and it works in a similar way. And what's nice about a NOR gate is that the basic unit is going to be faster than uh, than your standard uh, your standard AND gate. Okay, so the way I've set this up is uh, you have these two inputs feeding into a torch. So right now both of them are off and the torch can be on. But if either of these are on, it's going to power this block and turn the torch off. And uh, and there you go. That's a NOR gate. Pretty pretty straightforward and very very useful. So. Uh, so yeah, there you go, OR gates and NOR gates. Uh, in my next Need to Know tutorial, I'm going to show you gates called XOR and XNOR, and those are, those are pretty cool. I think you're going to like them and, uh, and find them incredibly useful. And many of you might not be familiar with those ones. I mean, these, these are pretty simple, pretty, uh, pretty common gates. XOR and XNOR, we're going to start to get a little more complex, uh, even in, in the basics, but you're going to find them very useful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.